I'd like to welcome you all to the official launch for the 9th Fatality Free Friday uh, initiative and uh, thank you all very much for being part of this very, very important campaign. Um, as I often say with each one of these uh, events each year, it's simply not possible to do what we do for Fatality Free Friday and the work the Australian Road Safety Foundation undertakes without the support of, uh, of our partners and certainly the other key stakeholders in road safety. Uh, sadly, this year alone, almost uh, 300 motorists, pedestrians, cyclists and motorcyclists have set off on journeys that they have not been able to complete. And of course, uh, those events end up in absolute tragedy, not only for the people involved, but for the community at large. And whilst we had fewer numbers of fatalities recorded than this time last year, and certainly the national trend for road fatalities is certainly declining, uh, anything that's uh, greater than zero means that we still have much more work to be done. Uh, this change needs, uh, I guess, to evolve constantly uh, with safer roads, safer vehicles and, above all, safer road users. I guess we need to engage with the community uh, to take ownership of road safety if we're going to get that sort of uh, ongoing reduction and hence that's why we're here today. Thomas Maxwell David McLaughlin, or Tom as our family and friends knew him, was just four and a half years old when he tragically passed away as the result of a pedestrian motor vehicle accident at McMaster's Beach on the New South Wales Central Coast on the evening of January 6, 2014. I sincerely wish to thank the Australian Road Safety Foundation and Mr Russell White for the opportunity to share Tom's story. Our family are firm believers in the words of Dr Shinichi Suzuki where there is deep love, much can be accomplished. Through this devastating tragedy, it is truly love and our precious son, brother and grandson, Tom, that, the un that is the underlying powerful force that drives the important work of the Little Blue Dinosaur Foundation. The security and safety of our children is paramount to our, nature's future, our nation's future. Thank you. The importance of saving lives on our road is absolutely paramount and it is the highest priority of police in general across Australia, particularly those uh, highway patrol officers and those involved in traffic enforcement. If you consider that 1155 people died on Australian roads in 2014, you realise that that's 1155 drivers, passengers, pedestrians, motorcycle riders and pillions, or bicycle riders that didn't arrive home safely. If you reflect on that, you realise that there's a significant number of family members, emergency service workers, and so many others in this community. And then you realise that the devastation that fatal crashes on roads causes in this country. That's why police, we commit to providing high visibility patrols to deter poor driver behaviour. And as well as that, to take swift action against those on the road that speed, drink and drive, don't use their occupant restraints and drive whilst they are distracted. Some of the biggest killers on our roads. Ladies and gentlemen, road safety is everybody's business. I'm very pleased to be part of this launch today and look forward to continuing to assist in reducing road fatalities across Australia.